Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to show you how to install a super clean and fast desktop operating system for your Raspberry Pi known as Ubuntu Mate. Now this is the official release from the devs over at Ubuntu Mate. In the past, for the Raspberry Pi 4, we had to do a little bit of hacking around, but now there's an official image available on their website. It's pretty easy to set up. But before we get started here, there are a few things you're going to need. Obviously, you'll need a Raspberry Pi 4. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4 8GB model here. I also have my USB Type-C power supply, micro HDMI cable, keyboard and mouse, and a micro SD card. If you don't have any of these items, I will leave some Amazon links in the description. So yeah, this is actually pretty easy to set up. Now to flash my micro SD card for the Pi 4, I'm going to be using a Windows 10 machine, but this will also work on Mac or Linux. So if you've been looking for a clean and fast desktop operating system for the Raspberry Pi 4, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to move over to my Windows PC. We're going to get the operating system downloaded and flash to our SD card, and then we'll come right back to the Pi. All right, so if you're ready to get Ubuntu Mate up and running on your Raspberry Pi, let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, you need a micro SD card like I mentioned at the beginning of this video. I have mine plugged into my PC. I'm using a cheaper USB 3.0 micro SD card reader, and I've just named it micro SD card 64 GB so I know exactly where it is. So the very first thing we need to download is an application that will allow us to flash the Ubuntu Mate image to our micro SD card for a Raspberry Pi. I usually use Etcher, and you can use that, but I'm going to go with Raspberry Pi Imager. It's over on the official Raspberry Pi website. Links for everything mentioned in this video are in the description. I'm going to grab the Windows version, but it also works with Mac and Ubuntu. So we now have that downloaded. Now it's time to grab the Ubuntu Mate operating system. We're going to head over to UbuntuMate.org, download, scroll down a little bit until we see Raspberry Pi, there's a 32-bit version and a 64. Personally, I would recommend the 64-bit, especially if you're running like the Raspberry Pi 8 gigabyte model. I'm going to go with 64, and I want the latest version, 20.04 LTS. It's going to start downloading, and it's 1.1 gig, so just give it some time to finish up. But once this is finished downloading, I'm going to place the Ubuntu Mate image on my desktop, along with the Raspberry Pi imaging software that we also downloaded. Okay, so both of my downloads are finished. We have the Raspberry Pi Imager and the Ubuntu Mate image. We're going to install the Pi Imager. Just double click on the EXE. We'll give you a little walkthrough here. And we want to run the Raspberry Pi Imager. So we'll just click Finish. So this is very simple software to use the Flash our Micro SD card. Operating System. We're going to choose the OS that we want to install to the Micro SD, and that's going to be Ubuntu Mate, the image that we downloaded. Choose Image, scroll down to the bottom, and we're going to use Custom. And from here, we're just going to find the Ubuntu Mate image that we downloaded. Mine's right on my desktop. Ubuntu Mate 20.04. Double click. It's going to load that up. Next thing we need to do is choose our SD card. As you can see here, it's a 64 gigabyte card. When you're doing this, just double check and make sure you're flashing to the correct drive. So it says it's mounted as drive H. If we go into a finder here, you can see that my micro SD 64 gigabyte is drive H. You don't want to flash this to anything else. So we'll choose this, and we're going to go ahead and write the image. It's going to go ahead and write the image to the micro SD card. This could take a little while, depending on how fast your SD card is. Just give it some time to finish up. We're almost done here. Alright, so the image is now flashed to our micro SD card. We can actually close down the Pi Imager here. And move over to our Raspberry Pi. We're going to plug in our keyboard, mouse, HDMI, SD card, and power. Alright, so I have my Raspberry Pi 4 set up. I got my keyboard plugged in, and this is just the stock Raspberry Pi 4 case. This is the 8GB model, as you can see here. Got my HDMI plugged in. Now it's time to pop in the SD card that we just flashed and plug in the power. When you're doing this, just make sure your monitor or display is turned on. Give this some time to boot up. It's going to bring us into a configuration wizard for Ubuntu Mate. We still have a few more steps that we need to complete before we can start using Ubuntu Mate, so I'm going to go ahead and plug this into my game capture so we can get a better look at the screen. So what you see here is known as the system configuration. You're only going to see this the first time you boot up. Go ahead and choose your language. 
Keyboard layout is pretty important depending on where you are in the world. I'm set to English US and English US. Time zone. Next thing we can do is connect to our Wi-Fi. And now we need to set up our name, our computer's name, and password. So if I type in ETA Prime right here, it's going to give me ETA Prime Desktop. Let's go ahead and create a password. And I personally like to leave login automatically checked, but you can set it up to require my password to log in. Continue. Now it's going to finish the installation. Once this is done, we can now start using Ubuntu Mate on our Raspberry Pi 4. And here it is. This is the welcome screen here. We can actually disable it. This will come up every single time you boot up if you don't uncheck this. We have a color selection here so we can kind of change the look of this. I'm going to go with teal. We'll just install this. It's going to ask me for my password. Just kind of gives us a different look to this. But yeah, having this welcome screen come up every time is definitely kind of handy. We have a Raspberry Pi information over here, desktop layout, software, chat room, community. I usually leave this checked so it does come up every time I boot my Pi up. It's not a big deal for me. Up in the top left-hand corner, we have our menu. It comes with some really great stuff pre-installed. We have the full LibreOffice suite, and we have our Firefox internet browser right here under internet. It's a full-blown desktop operating system for your Raspberry Pi, and it does work really well on the Raspberry Pi 4. If you want to connect to Bluetooth, up in the top right-hand corner, we have our Bluetooth connection, Wi-Fi connection, sound, time, and we can go to our menu here for About This Computer. And as you can see, ETA Prime Desktop, we're using 20.04 LTS, Mate Desktop, and we have 8 gigs of RAM with this one here. Now it's really up to you on how you use this desktop operating system on your Pi 4, but that's pretty much it for this video. Really appreciate you watching. All links for everything mentioned are in the description. If you don't already have a Raspberry Pi 4, I will leave a few Amazon links in the description. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.